Hi friends, welcome to KVR Maths Academy. In this video, let's discuss fifth graph in question number three and question number four in exercise 3.2 in polynomials of 10th class mathematics. Right? So before discussing this topic, friends, please subscribe my YouTube channel. Those who are not subscribed yet, thank you. Yes, let's go through this. Yeah. See, this is the fifth graph. In question number 3, he has given p of x is equal to x square minus 1. p of x is equal to x square minus 1. Let us take y is equal to x square minus 1. First, uh, uh, let us take x value and find y values. Uh, next, uh, coordinates, x coordinate, y coordinates find out. After that, let us draw graph on graph sheet. Right? Yeah. So, first x value, y value and x, y coordinates. Let us take. Yeah, suppose first uh, x value, suppose minus 3 I have taken, y is equal to minus 3 whole square minus 1. This is 9 minus 1 is 8. So, 8 has come. So, minus 3 comma 8, right? This is the ordered pair. Next, uh, suppose minus 2 I have taken, y is equal to minus 2 whole square minus 1. 4 minus 1, this is 3. Yes, 3 minus 2 comma 3 next minus 1 take minus 1 y is equal to minus 1 whole square minus 1 this is whole square minus 1 whole square is 0 oh, sorry 1 1 minus 1 is 0 0 minus 1 comma 0 has come right next 1 take 0 0 means 0 minus 1 minus 1 0 minus 1 right next one so y is equal to 1 square minus 1 it hai. this is also equal to 1 minus 1 this is 0 so 1 comma 0 has come so take another here up to minus 3 onwards we have taken no? so take another two numbers also yeah no problem no yeah 2 so that is equal to y is equal to 2 square minus 1 4 minus 1 is 3 S3 ordered pair is 2 comma 3. Next 3 take y is equal to 3 square minus 1. Yes. 3 square is 9 minus 1. This will be 8. 8. 3 comma 8. Right. Have you understood about this uh, table? Yes. Note it down. I will explain this uh, graph on graph sheet. Right. Okay. <coughs> This is x square minus 1 only now. P of x is equal to x square minus 1. So, x, y values, uh, these are the values which I have taken on the board itself, right? Yes, now I have drawn the two coordinate axes. One is x axis and another one is y axis. So, this is uh, intersecting point is origin. It is shown by O. So, here on x axis, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, like that, minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, so on. On y axis also 1, 2, 3, 4, so on, minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, so on. So these are the values I have taken. Yeah. Now let us plot the points. First one is minus 3, comma 8. Minus 3. Uh, x coordinate is minus 3 and y coordinate is 8. Minus 3 and 8. So it is intersecting point is it one So minus 3 and 8. Next uh, minus 2, comma 3. Minus 2, comma 3 this is right next minus 1 comma 0 minus 1 comma 0 it will be isn't it so here x coordinate is minus 1 y coordinate not there anything means 0 means it will be on x axis right yeah next uh, 0 comma minus 1 x coordinate not there here y coordinate of minus 1 is there that's why it is the point on y axis right so 0 comma minus 1 it will be next uh, 1 comma 0 1 comma 0 here x coordinate is 1 and y coordinate is 0 y coordinate is 0 means this is the point on x axis right so 1 comma 0 this will be next uh, 2 comma 3 2 comma 3 next 3 comma 8 3 comma 8 so on both sides same points uh, occurs now yes join all these points now
right so this is the this is the graph which is yes x square minus 1 x square minus 1 so it intersect the x axis at two points one is minus 1 comma 0 and another one is 1 comma 0 so zero values of the given graph is given polynomial is minus 1 comma 1 so here scale also write down scale on x axis on x axis 1 centimeter is equal to is how much yeah one unit only now we have taken one unit next on y axis on y axis 1 centimeter is equal to here also we have taken one unit only right yeah so let us just for our answer let us verify so verification verification right here so we have to find the zero values now we should equal p of x is equal to zero here p of x means x square minus one is equal to zero right so x is equal to minus one transform this side it will be plus one right so x is equal to plus or minus root one which means plus or minus one right here here plus one that is plus one and minus one isn't it so here from the graph also we have proved minus one and plus one also we got right both are equal or not yes exactly therefore the zeros zeros of the given polynomial given polynomial are one and minus one so have you understood clearly about this graph Yes, note it down. Next, fourth question in exercise 3.0. This is the final question in the in this exercise. Yeah. See, why are 1 by 4 and minus 1 are, are zeros of the polynomials p of x is equal to 4x square plus 3x minus 1? Why are 1 by 4 and minus 1? are zeros of the polynomials p of x is equal to 4x square plus 3x minus 1 we should find so what we should find actually substitute here substitute in the place of x 1 by 4 and minus 1 if you get 0 then these will be zeros of the given polynomial otherwise not the zeros of the polynomial yes yes given first write down given polynomial given polynomial p of x is equal to 4x square plus 3x minus 1. Okay, now? Yeah. So, suppose in the place of 1, x uh, substitute 1 by 4. p of 1 by 4 is equal to 4 into 1 by 4 whole square plus 3 into 1 by 4 minus 1. Isn't it? So, 4 into 1 by 4 whole square is 1 by 16 plus this is 3 by 4 minus 1. 4 how many times get cancelled? 4 times. This is 1 by 4 plus 3 by 4 minus 1. What is the LCM actually? 4 is the LCM. 1 plus 3 here not there anything means 1 time. 1 4 is a 4. 4 1 is a minus 4. 1 plus 3 is 4. 4 minus 4? 0. 0 by 4. This is 0 by 4. So this is 0. So P of 1 by 4 has come 0 now. So that's why 1 by 4 is the polynomial, 0 of the polynomial of p of x. Right. Let us take p of p of minus 1 also. Minus 1 also is given now. Yeah, p of minus 1. This is 4 into minus 1 whole square plus 3 into minus 1 minus 1. So this is 4 into minus 1 whole square is 1. Plus into minus minus 3 minus 1. 4 1s are 4 minus 3 minus 1. So this is. 4 minus 3, 1, 1 minus 1 is 0. So, P of minus 1 is also, we have got 0. So, that's why P of 1 by 4 has come 0 and P of minus 1 also has come 0, no? So, that's why 1 by 4 and minus 1 are the zeros of the given polynomial. Therefore, 1 by 4 and minus 1 are the zeros 
of the given given polynomial 4x square plus 3x minus 1 have you understood clearly yes note it down okay friends if you like my video please like and share don't forget to subscribe thank you thank you very much